Well, last night we brought you a story about a Soldotna man who says he was sitting in the passenger seat of a stranded SUV on the side of the Sterling Highway waiting for his friends to return with some gas when he was confronted by a state trooper. But as investigative reporter Mike Mason tells us, troopers say that's only part of the story, one that has had many twists and turns. In January 2021, 71-year-old Bob Bodell was arrested and released, awaiting trial on charges of disorderly conduct and the assault of a state trooper. But Bodell believes he is the victim of a rookie trooper. This wasn't all they did to me. 71-year-old Bob Bodell was maced, tased twice, and struck in the head and face by Trooper Brian Glenn, who had been on the force for about six months. But there is no video of the incident in question because the officer's dash cam was out of service and his replacement cruiser didn't have one. And his audio recording was started well after the exchange became heated. Bodell says the incident left him with uncontrollable shakes and memory problems, making him more dependent upon caretakers. Yeah, I used to be able to ride the four-wheeler, but yeah, that's out. But an internal AST investigation determined Trooper Brian Glenn did not use excessive force. He was the aggressive person. Our trooper was not aggressive during this. The Department of Public Safety says a third-party law enforcement agency also investigated the Bodell case, and they came to the same conclusion. So this case was then forwarded to the district attorney's office for prosecution, and the DA's case was gaining momentum. Nearly a month and a half after Bodell's arrest, a new witness emerged. Troopers were notified that a woman who was in the house at the end of the long driveway witnessed the incident. Alaska's news source obtained the audio recording of Sergeant Joseph Miller's interview conducted with Lakeisha Lee and her brother-in-law, Richard Fenn. Fenn says he couldn't make out what was going on because his view was obstructed by his truck. But Lakeisha Lee claims to have seen more. So it looked like once Trooper opened the door, there was either a punch thrown from the other guy or he, like, uh, lunged. It was really hard to see where we're at. You know, our driveway is pretty long, so right. I didn't have a clear view. She said that she saw you lunge at the officer. Did not happen. Did you swing at the officer? Did not happen. Why would she say that? Lie. Why would she lie? She's a cop's wife. Though we have no evidence Lee lied in this case, Alaska's news source did confirm Lakeisha Lee is the wife of former Kenai police officer Charles Lee, who at the time of the incident had just taken a new job with the Homer PD. Charles Lee has been an active member of the Alaska State Troopers Emergency Reaction Team. At the end of Lakeisha Lee's statement in the Bodell case, she and Sergeant Miller can be heard chatting about her husband. Well, we're going to miss your hubby up here in Kenai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, what I've been hearing from troopers. From KPD, not so much, but from troopers. We've been hearing that a lot. Hi, this is Mike Mason with Alaska's News Source. We reached out to Lakeisha Lee to ask why she waited six weeks to come forward and if she was confident in what she saw that night. But we were unable to reach her by phone or email. Meanwhile, more than a year and a half had passed, and Bodell was still awaiting trial. Did you think that if you were convicted that you would have died in jail? Oh, I know I would. But there would be yet another twist in this case. Trooper Brian Glenn resigned from the Alaska State Troopers, and AST says he left the state. We broke the news to Bodell. Really? He left, like, last week. <laughs> That makes you pretty happy. <laughs> it's all been worth it. <laughs> AST says Glenn resigned in good standing, and they stand by the arrest. They say Bodell is the one who escalated the situation by spouting profanities and lunging at the trooper. But just one day after Bodell's August 15th trial date was set, the case was dismissed. The district attorney's office says without Trooper Glenn's testimony in court, the case could not proceed. You know. That news uh, was bittersweet for Bodell, who says he'll never get the chance to clear his name. Is it justice? No. I mean, you know, I mean, Brian Glenn's not a cop, but 
they let him resign, so he'll just go get a job as a cop somewhere else and do the same thing to some other old person. Alaska's news source has confirmed Brian Glenn recently did begin working as a Tennessee Highway Patrolman. We tried contacting him through the department, but were told he was unable to speak with us while finishing up field training. Alaska State Troopers say Glenn has no further comment and they feel strongly that he did nothing wrong. We also want to be clear that the cruiser Glenn drove that night was not equipped with a dash cam. His regular assigned cruiser was in the shop because the dash cam was out of service. To read more of the interaction between troopers and Bodell, we have added more information on the story on alaskasnewsource.com.